Hey, how you doing? This is Mike Pope with uh, Trickfish Amplification. Um, it's our first year at the NAMM show, and um, pretty excited about uh, Richard and, and David and I have, uh, and Anthony and uh, four of us have all worked hard to put this uh, amplifier and uh, uh, line of speakers together. Um, my involvement in this was mainly in the design of the front end of the amplifier. Uh, I have uh, spent a lot of years building preamps and tuning EQs for bass uh, for, for a number of, of companies. And um, Richard approached me about you know wanting to to take some of that and, and marry it to a, a, a power amp and make a, a really high end integrated amplifier for bass that that, that give it's really reliable that gives player a ton of power and gives the flexibility that, that I you know have, have always tried to bring to the circuits that I built so um, the, the EQ on this which is really sort of where most of my contribution came in is uh, designed around being musical uh, each of the EQ points is, is has a specific musical result that, that I want to get and that I think that most people would be able to use um, it's something that I've always kind of prided myself on. It's in my EQs have always been. People generally say, "Wow, it's like I can't make it sound bad." It just has every EQ, every point is there's a purpose for it. So we didn't waste any time or resources on on anything that you couldn't do something musical with in this thing. So um, there's frequencies. There's a switch it selects the frequency of each control. Um, changing the character of how each controller responds and it gives you a really super wide variety of, of, of tones that are available uh, to the player. Um, we've tried to, uh, I don't know if that I can demonstrate the sonic characteristics too, too accurately on the on film, but, um, but we've tried to make you know a bass control that, that switches between a deep round kind of a sound and a thicker Kind of sound. A sound where the where the bass the thickness starts to pick up at the very bottom of the instrument, but doesn't do a whole lot up in here. To a sound that actually does that actually does it actually fattens it farther up into the instrument. It's a whole different kind of a thing. The mid range the low mid range control is is set to be able to. You can divide those two characteristics. You can make the, the bass control can be low, and then you can dial the thickness, the upper thickness in as a separate component with the low mid range. Uh, and you've got a higher a higher low mid, and then you've got a couple of a couple of high mid controls that are designed to make the sound more present. Uh, the high mid is about 1.8k and its purpose is if you want to hear yourself better in the mix, you can take your sound and you can move it from here to here without really noticeably changing the actual tonal characteristic of it. Uh, and the treble control is set, there's two settings, one for the guys who really like a very forward aggressive kind of a treble and one for the guys who really like an ethereal kind of a sound that, that, that just opens up the top end of the bass without making it harsh. Um, those are frequency settings that I've kind of come across from having sat in my basement for hours and hours and hours building circuits by hand for a wide variety of people all over the world. Um, and uh, 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 I've just happened upon really good settings over the years and, and when it came time to put together my own sort of codified unit, I used those and put them all together in one thing and that was that. So. Anyway, it's worked out really well, and, and it's a it's a fast amplifier. It's got plenty of power. It's very responsive. You really feel the speaker moving under your finger. Uh, I'm overdriving the front end there a little bit, but. The thing that I like about this, this is a 15 that I'm playing through, and the thing that I love about it is that, very much like the way I like my acoustic basses to sound, the notes are even, they're fat, even these notes up here, 
they all have the same sort of thickness to them, the same weight. I, I, I don't like a sound that, that starts to get really thin when you get high. Even up there, they're all really fat and warm, but that doesn't mean that there's not... There's still a little bit of high end. And even if I add more high end, there's still fat sound, but... very dead strings on my bass, forgive me, but so for my for my taste, this is like I've played through all of the speakers and of course I built the amplifier, most of it with my partner David Yates. We mainly, the two of us are mainly the guys that, that designed the amp. Uh, the four of us together have come up with a really great sort of combination of, of amplifier and speaker to give a bass player a really, really usable, reliable, powerful rig for just about any situation they would ever want to be in. Uh, the amp only weighs 6.2 pounds, so it's really easy to carry around. You can throw it in a bag, and you can grab your speaker, grab a couple of the 112s or whatever, just walk off with them, and you know, off you go. Maybe not, maybe not great for New York City, but just about anywhere else. And uh, so we're pretty excited about it. We've had a lot of good attention this year so far, and we're, we're hoping for more. And um, we're looking, to, you know, we're going to we're expecting some some really great people to come by here later on today, and uh, 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 expecting some good players to get to listen to it. We're hoping that they'll like it. I, I think they will. So that's what I'm up to.